So welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing, and if you're back, welcome back. Today I'm filming actually from my friend Jacqueline's house. I'm in Texas, you guys, and I have a special sneak peek to share with you all from Diamond Art Club. So thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This is part of some of the patriotic releases we have coming up for the 4th of July weekend if you're in the States. So what I have to share with you all today is mason jar flags this is from the artist susan winget and it's going to be 56 by 51 centimeters you guys this is a round drill diamond painting kit we're finally starting to see some rounds in the rotation again which is really nice and um, all the pink branding that you see here is what diamond art club does with their round kits uh, on the back there's info about how diamond painting works and the kit contents and if you flip over to the side you will see a qr code that you can scan that'll take you to a discount code that you can use on your purchase so um um, this kit, along with the other new releases, are going to be released on Saturday, July 2nd at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. That's the general release time. And then if you happen to be in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you get a half an hour early access window starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time. Now, we don't know which of these kits are going to be limited edition ahead of time, but if any of them are limited edition, I recommend jumping on them because once they sell out, they will not be restocked. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well and having a good start to your holiday weekend so far. Let's take a look at the kit contents here. So it looks like this has come with one of the newer toolkits. There's a couple of different versions of the toolkit that Diamond Art Club is sending out with their kits. This is the newer one. There's not really a hard and fast way to know which one you're gonna get with your diamond painting kit. But either way, you're gonna get everything you need to do your diamond painting. The newer ones just come with a couple extra bonus goodies. <laughs> we have a pen and a squishy. The color may vary in the new kits. And we have a couple of thin plastic multi-placers if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We've got a caddy with two plates of pink heart wax. I always like to remind you to peel back the thin plastic cover before you try to load up your pen. Since this is a round drill diamond painting kit, there are no tweezers with Diamond Art Club's kits. They only include the tweezers if it's a square drill diamond painting kit. You get a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in if you like or kit up into them. And then... We have a clear tray with some gold sparkles and a stopper as well. So uh, there are a couple of versions of the tray going around as well, but this is the one that's more transparent and a little sturdier. Now, these are the two bonuses <laughs> that only come with the newer kits. And even then, it's not a definite thing, but this is what we call a cover minder. And this is washi tape. Now the cover minder has magnets on the back. You can pop off the one magnet and slide it under the area of the diamond painting that you're working on. Peel back the plastic cover on the top and then set this one on top. It'll hold back the plastic cover for you. That's super cute. <laughs> the style may vary. And then the roll of washi tape, I like to use washi tape to, come on camera, um, cover up the border in case there's any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. I also use washi tape to section off my canvas. The exact print and style may vary on that as well. So let me shift this off to the side. And then, we also have this little sticker. I like to use this in my paper log book. I like it has that it has the original artwork and all the info about the kit. Some people use these to sort uh, through your stash a little easier by putting it on the box. And I've seen some people make minders out of these, so do whatever you like with those. <laughs> the rest of the kit contents are gonna be here in the branded dust cover or plastic bag. So of course we have the super soft Diamond Art Club canvas. And if you guys are feeling patriotic, <laughs> this kit is for you. So here's this beautiful canvas. It's a really nice size compared to a lot of what Diamond Art Club and a lot of diamond paintings we're seating out there right now. It's like I said, I think it's 51 by 56 centimeters. Included with your kit is going to be this pamphlet that has thank you note from the founder, some info about what's included. This QR code takes you to a video with beginner step-by-step -step instructions. This QR code takes you to the VIP group, which I think is a really nice resource. And then over here is written out step-by-step -step instructions as well as some tips and tricks. Here you've got yet another discount code, one of many that you'll have seen so far. And then QR codes here that'll take you to the mobile app on your respective devices. It's a really uh, good way to stay up to date with restock notifications and whatnot. Sometimes they run sales through the app, so definitely recommend downloading the app and following along with them there. Diamond Art Club also includes this large sticker sheet. There's a spot to write your start and end date. 
there's that beautiful original artwork again. We've had a couple of uh, pieces from the Mason Jar series from this artist, and I think there's been one for like Valentine's Day and one that's more like generically home themed, but it's nice to see the patriotic one as well. Here's a set of pre-cut stickers for us that you can use for kitting up if you like. The color code over here on the right is the same as the DMC color code, though anything under the number 150 in Diamond Art Club's numbering system is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll tell you more about those in just a moment when we're looking at the diamonds, but um, it looks like this kit's going to have a total of 37 colors and lots of <laughs> grays and neutrals, it looks like. Looking at the symbols, so far, I don't see any that look too similar to one another that I think we'll mix up, but um, Diamond Art Club's printing is usually pretty clear, so you don't have to worry about that at least. Here's our big bag of diamonds. We'll get to those in just a bit, but first let's look at the canvas and help it lay a little bit more flat by rolling it backwards first. Since Diamond Art Club uses board glue, it's safe to roll backwards. You're not gonna damage the glue or anything, but if it were double-sided adhesive, you wouldn't wanna do that. <laughs> All right, so here at the top, we've got Diamond Art Club's branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle. The edges of their canvases are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. And then the backs are really, really soft. The material of the canvas itself is really sturdy and malleable. It also is self-flattening, which is nice. The glue is a really high quality poured glue and sometimes you can see kind of a glittery effect to it as well. Uh, the quality of the poured glue and the thickness of it and the material of the canvas mean that diamond painting is really like diamond painting on a cloud. It's really relaxing and enjoyable. The legend over here at the top left makes it easy if you want to refer to that, especially on a smaller canvas like this one. And you've got the same legend over here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, you've got the original artwork and all the info about the kit, including the size. And of course, you always hear me point out copyright. So Diamond Art Club both has permission from the artist, Susan Wingett, to use this artwork as a diamond painting and is also fairly compensating her for the use of her artwork. So I'll always point that out since art theft is really unfortunately common in the crafting world. Here at the bottom is links to their socials and yet another discount code. And then here at the bottom right is um, info about their <laughs> Whoops. Info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. Now really quick, while I'm measuring this to see if we are true to size, I wanted to mention that um, if you are looking to make your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club and wanna save 20% off, I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club. And I have an, a code for 20% off that you're welcome to use on your first purchase. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And thank you in advance if you use that, but please don't feel obligated whatsoever. I just say don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club because they have discount codes everywhere. They don't want you to pay full price. Uh, this is true to size. Let's take a really quick look at the drill field. I am noticing what my friend Lindsay pointed out in her unboxing of a round drill kit from Diamond Art Club last week, which is that Diamond Art Club has moved away from having white backgrounds on their symbols for their round drill diamond painting kits. Uh, sometimes we would see, it, it looked essentially like a large guide circle with a white background, and then you would maybe see like the black letter S on a white circle, but they've done away with that because they wanted to make it easier to not accidentally have that white showing up behind the diamond if you didn't place it perfectly. So the drill field looks a little bit more like a square drill field. Now in some areas like here, you will still see really faint outlines of circles, but those are not gonna show up behind the drill field, or behind the drills once they're down, especially when you're pulled back to more of a viewing distance. But just in case you're working on a round drill kit and going, this looks a little bit different than I remember a round drill kit looking, that is most likely why. But the printing looks to be really, really, really clear, as always. It looks like we're gonna have a good amount of color blocking. Color blocking is when we have large sections of the same color, like this background here, like all this symbol S, all this symbol E and whatnot. You can multi-place in those areas if you like to use multi-placer, or at the very least, you'll have that color in your tray for a while. We'll also have some areas with confetti, which is where we have more color changes in a small area like here. You'll be changing out that color in your tray more often and mostly single placing. I really like kits that have a mix of both, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I like the look of this kit so far in that sense. Let's take a look at the diamonds. 
The package has the name of the kit on it. So if you store the diamonds separate from the canvas, they're easy to match up later. All right, so really pretty little set of diamonds. Again, because this is just a little kit, but I will we'll take a look at these together. So Diamond Art Club did recently pause production on their round drill diamond painting kits because they wanted to do some quality control. And I don't have confirmation for sure whether or not these are the new ones or not, but I will be taking a close look to see. <laughs> but um, we are starting to see some round drill diamond painting kits in production again, so maybe. We'll just have to stay tuned and see. So we've got lots of these, actually lots of grays and olive greens and this bright green 3347. And then here we have our first AB diamond. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty iridescent sparkling effect, like a color shift, uh, the, these special diamonds have an iridescent coating on the top that gives them their name. So the areas these have been charted are gonna sparkle even more than regular diamonds do. It's gonna draw your eye to those areas. Diamond Art Club usually play, uh, charts them in places where it just makes sense to have kind of a highlighting effect. So this is the first one in this kit. I'll be sure to point out to you after when I'm looking at the diamonds exactly where those are all gonna go. It's browns bright pinkish red a nice set of colors again this one's going to have 37 colors very patriotic here with the whites and the reds but first we have this kind of gray three bags of 712 bag of 498 935 there Here's our red and blue, very Americana. From what I'm seeing of these diamonds, I don't really see much in the way of trash, which is good. Here's our second AB, this is 141. This is a white AB. So we have both this white AB and that first one I showed you, which is kind of an ivory. So we'll have lots of that kind of neutral sparkle. Lots of grays. And then here is our third and last AB100. It is a pale olive green, almost a chartreuse, but a little more neutral than that. And then that 3807. Okay, so let's take a really quick look and see where those ABs are gonna go. So we have the white, the ivory, and the pale green, and we're looking for the numbers one, two, and three, starting at the very bottom. Uh, there's a little bit of the ivory in here, along the bottoms of the jars. Just a little bit of that ivory. And then, make sure I'm not missing any. A little bit more of the ivory on the tops of the jars, probably kind of where the, the light is reflecting off of the jars themselves and in here. And then, let's see, where is that? Okay, here I see some of that pale green AB, that pale olive AB, a little bit here in the middle of these flowers and some of the greenery and over here as well. And then, make sure I'm not missing any. <laughs> um, a little bit of the pale green here as well. So kind of the lightest parts of the leaves, I think. And then it looks like the majority of the white and the ivory ABs both are in the stars of the flags. It looks like mostly the ivory. Where is that white AB hanging out? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, these are all ivory. These are all ivory. Okay, here's some of the white right here. There wasn't a ton of that white AB, but I'm looking and going, what am I missing? Uh, I'm so confused. Okay, so there's a little bit highlighting the tops of these flower petals. That white AB is very, very light-handed. There's not much. There's a little bit here. I think this is kind of the bottom of the white stripe on the flag. There's a little bit of the white AB. Okay, this is the top of one of the daisies. Yeah. So a little bit on the tops of the daisies and the bottom of that one flag, but there's not a ton of that white AB. It's mostly the ivories in the stars on the flags and that pale green is just kind of popping up in the lightest green parts of 
the daisies and the leaves. So you guys, this looks super, super cute. This would probably work up really quickly and be really fun to display seasonally in your home for those patriotic holidays. The name of this one again is Mason Jar Flags. It's by Susan Winger or Winget. And it's 56 by 51 centimeters, 37 colors, and has round diamonds. Just to recap, this kit, along with the other new releases for the weekend, are going to go live tomorrow, which is Saturday, July 2nd, at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the Rewards Program, you'll get that half an hour early access window as well. So be sure to set your alarms, especially if you know you want to get your hands on any of these, since we don't know which ones yet are going to be limited edition. You guys, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for Diamond Art Club to sending us over. I hope that this helped you make a decision on if this is on your shopping list for the weekend. Happy shopping, happy 4th of July to those of you that are celebrating this weekend. Um, I hope that you have an amazing weekend and if you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. All right, my friends, I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.